In this video I'm going to share with you my Notion template to keep track of all my reads and make sure that I never forget anything that I read. I tend to read many books throughout the year and I always take notes and highlight the quotes that resonate the most with me. The issue is that even though highlighting is great, if I don't actually use this knowledge, I end up forgetting about it. That's why I've created this template that I'm using to create thoughtful notes on every book I read and make it easy for me to revisit this content in the future. The structure of this template draws a lot of inspiration from one of Red Gregory's videos. If you don't know her, you should definitely check out her channel in the description down below. Now let's get into the video. So first we'll go over the structure of the template and then we'll have a look at the note taking system. The main database is the old books section. So here's where you'll be storing all the books that you've been reading throughout the year and you can think of this as your bookshelf. You should know that this is the main database and these are just views of that database with different filters, sorts and other parameters. Any change in the main database will affect these elements right here. So the first section that you notice here at the top left corner is the pending notes section. This for me is the most important one because it's going to constantly remind me that I should be taking notes on these books. So once you finish taking notes on a book, you just check it and it's gone. Because I read non-fiction books, it's really important for me to remember everything I read because I want to be able to apply that knowledge in the future. So taking thoughtful notes on the books that I read really helps me retain the knowledge and also helps me revisit it in the future if I need it. Then below that we have the reading tracking sections. So here we have currently reading, want to read and read. As you can see, the red section shows the star reviews. I really like to rate the books that I read uh, so I can remember which were my favorites. I recommend you do that too. And plus there's an option here in the all books section where you can go to best rated where you will find all your reads order depending on your rating being the most rated at the top. By the way this is example data. These are not my actual ratings so if you want to know my actual ratings you can check out my Goodreads profile. I will leave it in the description down below. So whenever you want to add the book you just click on new and it will create a new book for you. Now let's have a look inside one of the books. Here we have Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. As you can see here I have a section for the authors. Then here we have the topic, in this case is business plus creativity, but you can have as many categories as you want. Then we have the status. So for example if I go to the status and change it to currently reading, you see that it changes here as well. Then I have a section on recommended by. I like to keep track of who recommended a particular book because let's say for example that I have a bunch of books that I want to read on the topic of finance. If one of those books was recommended by someone that has some kind of authority on the finance field, then I'll be more likely to start reading that book first. Another benefit of keeping track of who recommended a particular book to you is that if this is a person that you actually know in real life, then you'll be able to follow up with that person and perhaps discuss on the topics that most interested you while reading the book. Then here we have a section for starting dates and end date. So whenever you change the start or end date of a book, the days spent section would automatically change. This happens because this is a formula. So basically here what we're doing is computing the difference of time between between start and end date. Then we have another section for rating and then here we have a cover image. And here we have the checkbox for notes completed or not. So once you've completed the notes of a particular book, you just check it and it's gone from this section. And now let's have a look at one of the most interesting sections, which is the note taking system. So whenever you create a new book, you will open up the page, fill in the data, and then you have here a button that says new book template. You just click here and this will fill in automatically your note taking template. As you can see, there are four main areas to fill in and you'll also find a series of prompts that will help you fill in the template. Okay, so let's have a look at an example of how to fill in this template. First, we'll have the main idea of the book. So in this section, you basically want to summarize in one or two sentences the main concept of the book. Then in the second section, you want to list the main lessons that you've taken out of this book. Then in the third section, we have top three quotes. This is something that I really like to do. Quotes in general are something that you can reference in the future. And many quotes are often applicable to a bunch of situations. So you will find yourself applying those same quotes to other contexts in your life. So I really like the idea of keeping track of the top three quotes of each of the books I read. And then we have the final section, which is highlights and notes. In this section, you want to paste all the highlights and notes that you've taken while reading the book. In this case, it was a physical book. As strange as it seems, I still read some books on paper. Very few of them, I have to say. And then it's a turn because I need to take pictures of each one of the highlights that I've taken. And so now this is kind of messy but I usually read most of my books on Kindle, which makes it super easy to just export your highlights and notes and paste them here. You can also use 
use other services like Readwise to synchronize your notes and automatically put them in Notion. I really recommend you to invest on a Kindle if you can because it will really ease your note taking and highlighting experience and it will make it really easy for you to reference different highlights and notes that you took in the past. I actually have a video comparing different Kindle models. I'll leave it around here in case you want to check it out. I also recommend that if you can, instead of just pasting your highlights and notes, you also take additional notes and reflect a bit on the passages that you highlighted in order to make sure that that knowledge sticks into your brain. Now we can say that the notes for this book are completed, we just check it and it's gone. So if you're interested in using a template like this one, I will leave the link to this template in the description down below so you can duplicate it into your workspace and start using it right away. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this playlist where you'll find all my Notion videos. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.